Well, welcome back, everybody. It's me, GSD, back again with some more in Stars and Time. Ah, voice feels better. My throat was like super sore before, but we had a, a fruitful secret mission with Odile, I think. Yeah, Odile's not here anymore. I wonder where. She, oh, she's reading the book. She's having a, a a read, a think and a read. But Isabeau is missing as well. Does that mean Bonnie's missing as well? Why is Mirabel still here? Bonnie should be right here, right? Okay, Bonnie's there. Oh, maybe Isabeau's by the change tree, not the change tree, the favor tree, which is where I need to actually go because I need to talk to Loop. I knew it. Hey, Isa, Ziff. Woke up on the wrong side of the bed? I get it. Anyway, I was just looking at the favor tree. Isn't this tree cool? Cute joke. Yeah, it is. Glad you agree. One could say it's pretty, uh huh, tremendous. Yeah, 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 yeah. You both laugh. You wait for him to touch you. you wait for him to touch you. You wait for him to touch you. He has to do it. You will never do it yourself. But he won't touch you because he thinks you don't want him to. And you can't say it. Because that's embarrassing. That's life ending even. Asking for one's asking for someone's touch. But please, you think. Please, please, please. Flicker of movement makes you look at his face. He looks stricken. Sad. Seeing you look at him, he laughs and brings his hand down. You wonder what face you were making as you were waiting for him to touch you. I'm gonna go soon so you can do your thing with the tree. But do you want to talk before I go? Anything new? Whoa! Can I help? Yeah, wait, we... Do I need help with anything? Ah. Uh, well, maybe, kind of, but... Hmm... Seems serious. They have a big problem he needs help with. You steal yourself. Okay, well, I'd rather ask everybody first. Yeah, we already. Ah, you're not seriously. That's so serious. So, um, yeah, make sure to... Yeah, we... Okay, so nothing else. We go with the clock tower real quick. Crab, yeah! Doesn't the clock tower have only three beds, though? No. Sure. We just need to get that out of the way, and now, now is the time. Loop. Hey, Stardust. How can I help you on this wonderful new loop? Oh, we got stuff. Let's talk about something. Let's talk about... Wait, why is there two of them? Let's... Is it just looping? Wait, no. There's no way. Not nothing. Oh, it is. I'm... Okay, never mind. I was confused myself. Let's talk about something. Sure. What do you want to talk about? My turn, actually. Why don't you tell your little team about the loops you're stuck in? You didn't need to tell them before because you thought you'd be able to help them with this power. But what about now? I can still do it by myself. <laughs> okay. Okay. What should I do next? You're so... you're doing so many different things. What do you need help with? Help everyone in King. Find out more about the King. We tried! What should I do? So you talk to the King. Seems like he's using some type of craft called Timecraft to freeze people in time, huh? Timecraft. I don't know much about it myself. But as always, if you need information about something, you should read a book! Maybe ask the librarian in Dormal Library. Ah, yes. I forgot about that. She might know something about the king. I don't think I need a refresher, but maybe a refresher, sure. King has frozen blah, blah, blah. You decided that he's misunderstood or whatever, so you've started talking to him to know more about him. To freeze people in time, he's using something called Timecraft. It's not something simple to do like rock craft or scissors craft, but a craft much more complicated and rare. But it's what allowed him to freeze the entire country in time. 
Okay. I saw that it was letting me uh, fast forward Loop's conversation. I think that's a bad idea. Any other questions? Uh, helping everybody. Which one started us? Which ally? Well, we helped Odal, so let's hear this first. Your researcher. So she was looking for a family tale maybe the whole time you've known her. Family tales are a Vogardian tradition as half Vogardian. She felt like it would bring her closer to her roots. And that's why she came to Vogard even, to find out more about herself. Being able to go wherever you want and find more about yourself in the process. Well, that sure was interesting, wasn't it? All right, Mirabelle, we have the papers. You found some papers in your housemaiden's room. The same as the ones she's always reading in Dormant. Mystery solved. Well, not really solved. They look like files about different people, didn't they? Each file was about a different person, answering some questions like where do you see yourself in 10 years or whatever. I wonder what that's about. You should go back to Dermont and ask her about it. That's the next step. Isabo. Him, huh? Your fighter apparently wants you to help everyone else first. Scary. Don't you think he's asking you to finish helping everyone first because he wants to ask you something really complicated? That's what you're thinking. Well, only thing you can do now is helping everyone else, Stardust. On the boss. Them, huh? You need to prove to them that you know their favorite foods. How childish. Don't you take snack breaks every so often in the house? You should pick some different snacks every so often instead of going for your favorites. You might find some- find out something new. Or you can brute force it and talk to them until you get it right. That's what looping is for, after all. What? Need a reminder on their favorite foods? Well, so far you found they like rice, pineapple, and we don't know what else. We need that third one. I need help in general. Okay, well, at this point, you should try and see if anyone needs your help. Nothing more to it than that. Let me know if you need help on how to help a specific one. Well, that's what we got. I got more questions. More questions. Uh, uh, more about loops. Oh, I don't need none of this. I have a question about nothing. I had a question about. At the end is a bow. Yeah, this is still. We gotta. We already know this one. Somebody interrupted us. And then, what was this? Odal seems suspicious of me. I already know all of this, so we don't need this right now. Nah, nothing. Alright. That's good. There's something else I wanted to do. Give them a nod and walk away. I was told that it's not just once, but you can do this multiple times and get different responses, maybe? No! It should just be here, right? So... You remember... Whoa! Before you became stuck in time, you passed through a little town for supplies. Everyone had things to do, but you were so stupidly hungry you could barely think, so you stopped at a boulangerie nearby. The boulanger was an old man, but strong. Looked like he woke up smiling every day. Even then, with the threat of the king looming over everyone. Wordlessly, you pointed at a croissant, showing some coins. Croissant. Silently, smiling, he got you your pastry, took your money, gave you one silver piece of money back, and you both said thank you at the same time. And you both froze. What? What? Apart from Isa and Mira, who have the same accent, you all have very different ways of speaking the same language. Makes sense, as you all come from different places. Through your travels, you met a lot of people with Mira and Isa's Vogardian accent, a few with Bonnie's coastal accent, and even fewer with Odile's Kabuan accent. But your accent stayed unique, foreign. The Boulanger's accent was the same as yours. Without breaking eye contact, the old man grabbed your arm. 
His eyes were stunned, fearful, hopeful, and he said, Young one, where are you from? And you couldn't answer. There's no way you could answer. How could you answer? Did he know? Did he remember? Could he answer? Was he asking you? Taunting you? Could he remember the lights still? The shapes they cut in the darkness? Their stories? Did they beat in his chest still? Were they still warming up his heart? Could he speak them and everything else into existence? Could he say it? Let the words out. Did he remember? Did he remember? Did he remember? Did he remember? You left the boulangerie running. You could see the night sky dotted with lights, but your chest was empty. When you ran back, you thought about how you'll always forget about the things you love. It's an immutable fact. But you don't want to forget about your allies ever. Ever, 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 ever. No matter what, you'd make sure that you would always remember. You ate the croissant. Croissant? Mm. When you got back to everyone else. It didn't taste like anything. What the hell? Achievement! Here's some change. Find out about the incident. What? Is that just because I used the coin or is it because I used the coin in front of... You can get so fixated sometimes. You don't need to swear of croissants because of what happened. You don't need to keep that coin to remember what happened. You don't need to keep that coin to remember them. Those rituals won't accomplish anything. You don't want to hear this right now! How could you understand how I feel? <laughs> You're right. I can't understand you. After all, I don't know what it's like to feel your home slip out from under you. To feel cut off from everything. To want to remember it all, no matter what. How could I? Look at me, Stardust. Look at my face. Do you really think I'm supposed to be here? Do you really think I can't understand what it's like? To not have a home I can go back to? To see reflections of it everywhere I look, but without the connection that comes with it? Do you really think I don't understand wanting to remember everything I've left behind? I'm a star. But do you really think it warms me up? That my chest isn't empty still? And even now, I'm alone. No one can understand what I'm going through. And the only person that could is... Is... Nope, that's it. That's all you get, tee -hee. You feel like you understood Loop a little better now. Another achievement? What was that about? Show Loop specific souvenir at a specific time. Dude! Social engineering! I do it again! Flip it in the air a few times, yeah? Wow! Okay, I gotta find other stuff to show loop then. And do multiple things. I want to do the page, but I want to get all the other stuff first. Alright. Loop, I got some mo for for you. Not none. Okay, try the other things. Loop, I got some stuff. Right flower. Give the flower towards Loop. Ugh, that flower again. I don't want it, Stardust. Give it to someone else. Are you sure? I'd love for you to take this. Nothing special about it. Come on. Nothing special about it. Okay, try some other stuff. Friendship Doodle. 
I'd like for Luke to be part of the friendship doodle, please. They want... Uh, yeah, Luke wants to be in the picture, too. Alright, uh... What about four-pointed leaf? Look at the four-pointed leaf. The shape reminds you of something. You look up. You only see clouds. Well... Again! So some, some of these things, I guess, aren't... Yeah, because the flower loop didn't want long thingy thing. Do it again. One more time. No. Nope. Okay, thank you, loop. All right. So we have a couple more things to do here. We should, because I, I suspect Mirabelle's thing is going to be quite long. I'm going to go to the library first. This is not the library. This is the library. Hello. Welcome to the library. Well, our selection is kind of lacking. All the good books are in the house. The house is, well, closed until further notice. Since the king took residence there and froze everyone in time. Are you looking for a specific book in partific particular? Particular. Are you? Are you? Anything about timecraft? Timecraft? Like, um, specifically? I'm not sure. You could look through books about craft. We have one here, but it might not talk about timecraft much. I wonder, where could you find craftonomy books? Craftonomy? Inside the, 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 the house! The librarian notices your confusion. Oh, the study of craft in general is called craftonomy. I don't think the libraries here or in the house carry any. Maybe you should look elsewhere. Also, why am I thinking about candles right now? Must be nothing. Someplace other than the libraries. Maybe someone's dorm room in the house? The one with the smelly candles. And then we get the craftonomy book. Welcome to the library. Well, selection's got like Are you? Nothing. And then there's the book over here. Yeah. You try to read the title until your hands hurt from gripping the book. Put it back. Damn. We're not there yet. All right. Give it a save, because this might take a little while. Who knows? Save that. Right there. Cool. Sorry. Excuse me. Thank you. Also, Mirabel, check this out. not oh we we need to get the grid the grift the gift I forgot show the loving fan mail that's the gift for your housemaiden isn't it don't snoop okay snooping is bad Ugh. all right okay I still want to give the flower to the king and I want to give the fan mail to Mirabelle we do that right now before we ask about the papers. Fan mail delivery! All right, Mirabelle, it's time. Hello. I was sitting, which one's the one that? So which one will you choose? Is this it? Hmm? Sorry? You point at her pile of papers. What? What? How? What do you know? Answer me! She has her hand on her rapier. Y you're choosing someone for something, right? It seems important. Maybe I can help. Hmm. I... I suppose you must have more experience than I do. All right. I would like your help if you'll give it. Experience? Sure. Thank you, Seifrin. But, um... This might take some time, so, um, make sure you have time. I have time. Oh! Okay! Okay, how to do this? Sit down next to me, maybe? You sit down. Mirabelle looks at you without saying a word. She looks worried. Maybe you should take the lead? 
So, what are those papers, really? Oh! Um... Bonding proposals? Bonding? Like, when you promise to stay with someone forever? Is Maribel looking for a pa partner? No, wait, that's not exactly it! Please stop looking at me! I it's more like, um... Dating? Dating profiles! I'm not thinking about being bonded yet. Dating? I think... You didn't think Mirabelle cared about that. You're still confused. Alright, well... Before this all started with the king, I decided I wanted to, uh... Try! To date someone! And so I asked a dating company and they gave me a bunch of folders of people that I could meet and that I could date. But I haven't gone through it yet. So I figured I could at least get that done today and look through all of them and make a list of people I could see myself dating? And I suppose I need help? I'm choosing someone I could spend the rest of my life with, so I'd appreciate another pair of eyes. Or, um, just the one eye. As long as it's not my two eyes looking at this. Um. And also, I need a distraction from tomorrow very badly, so I figured I'd replace my anxiety about our possible defeat with, um, this? Oh! Hmm. Choosing someone to date is a little out of your comfort zone, but you think you can try and find someone who would fit Mirabelle? Maybe. Let's have a look then. Alright! I have a few profiles right here. She removes an immense folder out of her dress pocket. Was she carrying it with her throughout your entire journey? Here's a few of them! So, uh... Can... we can... You can go first! And tell me what you think! And I'll go after! So... well... Tell me what you think about them. She shows you the file of a strong, buff-looking man. Is that Mirabelle's type? It looks nice. Meh. We have one of those at home. <laughs> I have to! What? Do you mean Isabel? Ew, you're right. Is that worth an ew? Either way, it sounds like masculine people aren't her type. Probably. Maybe she would like someone more feminine. Do you have someone more feminine looking? Hmm. She looks through her files. How about her? She shows you the profile of a gentle-looking lady. She looks nice, shrugs. She looks like you. Hmm. I feel like the third option is always going to be the best option. She looks like you. Ew, you're right. Is that worth a nail? So, well, not into feminine people either, apparently. What kind of person are you into, then? Oh, I don't have a type. I like all kinds of people equally, but if you had to choose, ah, uh, um, someone nice, you nod, and someone pretty, you nod, and someone who likes me. You don't nod. Mira. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. Let me think a bit more. I want someone who... She thinks for an awfully long time. Well, well, what do you... What about you, then? What kind of person are you into, Seafren? Well, you think about how to answer this for an awfully long time, but then catch yourself. Wait, are you just going to copy my answers? N no Okay, fine. You got me, Seafren. I'm not... interested in that dating stuff. Oh, that makes sense. But then, why? So then, why worry about it? You know, Seafren... The change belief is very, very important to me. It's all about changing. Changing with a capital C. Bettering yourself.
becoming a better, different person. And one of the ways to change is to try new things, you know? That's a part of the reason the house offers so many different classes. <laughs> and so, um... So I'm trying. I'm trying new things. And some are fun and fulfilling and easy, but you can't just go and only try new, easy things, can you? Sometimes I have to try scary new things. Things that make me uncomfortable. Thing, things I don't want to do at all. I think she doesn't want to do. Like, dating? Yes, like dating. B but, you know, romantic love is one of the biggest ways to change. It's supposed to change you. To bring you new experiences. And, and so... I have to do it, right? To be a good housemate, I have to do it. I have to date. I have to love someone in a romantic way. I have to... I don't think you need to do that. Do things with them. I have to bond with them and... I have to sleep with them. I have to have children with them. I have to love them in this very specific way. And... And... And you don't want to? And... And I don't want to. I don't want to do it, Seafrin! Not at all! Dating the idea of being in a romantic relationship? Of being with someone like that? I, I hate thinking about it. I hate the idea of it. I really do. The idea of it alone is just awful for me to think about. I can't love someone like that. In the way I should love them. It never happened. And I don't think it ever will. And I... I need this to change, don't I? Oh, stars, this is heavy. You're not sure what to say. Maybe... Maybe. Well, um... Why do you need to change? Because I have to, Seafrin! I'm a housemaiden, and I love it! I love helping people, getting to know them, I love learning new things, I love it all, I love it all, but, but I have to change in that way too. I wish I could just not do it, not be with someone that way, but see friend, there's such a pressure to force us to do that. And not only that, there's such intense pressure to force us to change. We have yearly festivals all around showing yourself as a new person, for crap's sake. Most housemaidens most house have completely changed at least once, and I haven't. Isabeau isn't even a housemaiden, and he's changed. And I haven't. And, and I don't... I don't want to change. I'm happy with who I am. I'm comfortable with who I am. I'm comfortable with the idea of not being with anyone. I'm comfortable with the idea of staying the same forever. We have to change and bring new things into our lives and change clothes and hairstyles and even part of our pro personalities. To appeal to a deity that... That... But I don't know if they understand that sometimes. I just like to stay the same. Or maybe they do. Maybe that's why they haven't... And now... I have a list of people that I could meet so that I can fall in love with them, which I can't do, and do things with them, which I will never, ever want to do. Also, I can change. And it makes me feel like a mistake. But I must be broken for not being able to want these things. Because everyone else can. Well, I don't know about the romantic part. But I don't want to do things with people either. Huh? Why not? It's weird, right? Yes. Mirabelle takes hold of your hands. You jump a little, but she doesn't notice. Y yeah! Yeah! It's just weird! And gross! It's awful! I don't want it at all! Oh, Seafrin, Seafrin! You mean it? You really mean it? Do you understand? Yeah, of course. 
What a relief. To have someone who understands this at least. But it doesn't fix anything. I need to change. And dating, it's part of it, so... Mirabelle sighs. See, friend, I know you don't follow the change belief, but... Do you have something like this? Something that brings you joy in community and faith? But some other parts you don't know how to follow? Some other parts you don't know what to do with? Some other parts just bring you grief? Something that brings you both joy and grief. You think about the stars. It's more complicated than that for me, but... Yeah, I have something like that. So you do, too! How... How do you deal with it, then? You don't. I just try not to think about things that bother me in general. <laughs> Avoidance, huh? That feels... A little too cowardly for me. Ouch. I mean, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say- You laugh. You know she didn't mean it that way. Of course not. You didn't know Mirabelle held those feelings towards the change belief. She always seemed so passionate about it. But the belief she loves so much is also the same belief that forces her into a box she doesn't want to be in. Why doesn't she leave it behind then? I suppose it's not that simple. I don't know anything about your belief, but... You could always game the system, right? Game the system? Change things by deciding not to change. If everyone changes in that way, then you'll change by not changing in that way. There's more than one way to become a better person, right? Changing... By deciding not to change. <laughs> See, friend, that's not how it works. But no one needs to know. <laughs> change myself by deciding not to change. Sounds challenging and fun to me. Right now, you mean it. It does. It does sound challenging and fun. Mirabelle smiles at you brightly. You smile back. Thank you, Seferin. Thank you for talking with me. Uh, oh! Look at the time! You probably had other things to do, didn't you? Go, go! Don't let me keep you. I need to be alone for a bit. I have a lot to think about. I'll see you later, okay? You got memory of faith. You'll always remember this. When equipped, memory of faith boosts all of your housemate stats by 30. Wow! Your housemate also learned the skill Holy Care Shield. Holy Care Shield is amazingly strong. When used, it creates a shield that makes everyone invulnerable to attacks for one turn! It's so strong you'll be- you'll only be able to use it when you and your housemate have had this exact conversation. If you loop back to Dorma, you'll have to talk to her all over again. So what you're saying to me right now- Ah, oh crap, I'm gonna have to loop back to Dorma anyway for Bonnie and Isabeau. <laughs> Shit! Because I could just keep looping in the castle and I'd- I'd keep the skills, but I'm gonna have to come back for Bonnie and Isabeau. Ah, dang. Remember that, okay? You nod to Mirabelle. You wave goodbye. Bye-bye. Achievement get. Companion quest, hang out with Mirabelle. I'm I'm handing up all these achievos in just like one short amount of time. I gotta save that. I gotta save that. But first. Ah, damn it. Save that right there. Right? Hell yes. We gotta go and talk to Loop about this. Okay, so the thing that we need to do now 
is to... Well, first let's talk to Loop. Hey, Stardust. Can I help you on this wonderful new Loop? I look close to the bar. Uh, no. What should I do next? Help everyone. Mirabelle. Had a nice time talking with your housemaiden. So, she feels bad because she can't love people romantically. And she feels like she can't do what's needed of her as a housemaiden. She feels like she can't change in the way that's asked of her, since she doesn't want to get in a relationship ever. Must be hard, having a crisis of faith like this. Sounds like talking to you helped her though. And talking to her didn't help you, but it made her stronger, which is all you can ask for, huh? And don't forget, if you want her to get that special skill again, you'll have to hang out with her once more. Or, well, you could do it and zone out the whole time if you wanted to. But that's cheating. Which I want. Can you zone out though? I feel like those are like the worst conversations to actually zone out on. That'd be like the most impartial, impersonal type of thing to do when people are asking you for help. All right, we got everything, right? We're good to go. I think we gotta talk to Bonnie regularly. I don't think Bonnie's gonna let me guess, though. Bonnie's here, looking morosely at the field. Bonnie, I from where you want? Um, clock tower. All right, we're done. We got that. We got everything, I think. More, uh, bright flower, friendship doodle, four pointed leaf, long thingy thing, silver coin. Do we, if I loop out of here, do I lose the skills? Probably safer to just not do that. So let's give this a save right here. And next time, we're going to figure out, one, we gotta find that book. Two, we gotta figure out Bonnie's favorite food. Three, help Isabel. Four, how to open this damn door? I wanna open this so badly. Why? Open. Open, damn it. Pineapple. Ugh. Anyway, we'll do that and more next time in the next episode of In Stars and Time. Thank you again, and I'll see you all next time in the next episode.